Epsim, Ephesians 6. Children, obey your parents in Yahweh, for this is right. Honor earth your father and earth your mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with you, and you may live long on the earth. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of Yahweh. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters, according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in singleness of your heart, as unto Mashiach. Now with eye service, rather, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as the servants of Hamashiach, doing the will of Yahweh from the heart, with good will doing service as to Eth Yahweh, and not to men. Knowing that whoso, rather, whatsoever good thing any man does, the same shall he receive of Yahweh, whether he be bond or free. And ye masters do the same things unto them, forbearing threatening, knowing that your master also is in heaven, neither is there respect of persons with him. Finally, my brethren, be strong in Yahweh and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yah, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yah, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the Besara of peace. Above all, taking the shield of belief, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of Yeshua, and the sword of the Ruach, which is the word of Yahweh, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Ruach, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all Kodeshim. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the Besara, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. But that ye also may know my affairs, and how I do, Tychius, rather, Tychicus, a beloved brother and faithful minister in Yahweh, shall make known to you all things, whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose, that ye might know our affairs, and that he might comfort your hearts. Peace be to the brethren, and love with belief from Yahweh, the Father, and Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach. Grace be with all them that love our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach in sincerity. Amen.